Now, let us look at the health aspects of human elementary canal. Our elementary canal, it works remarkably well. It, do, it does a very wonderful job of digesting the food because we eat different kinds of food. Sometimes we eat the spicy food, sometimes we eat the alkaline food, whatever it may be. It carries out the process of digestion and it secretes the juices to maintain the balance of pH and it secretes the enzymes to digest the food and to make the nutrients available for our body for the use. But sometimes because uh, due to taking excess amount of food or poisonous food or inappropriate food, it leads to some uh, malfunctioning or uh, false conditions inside the elementary canal. Now let us look at them. The first thing we observe is vomiting. So vomiting is a process of expelling or repelling the food out of the stomach. This is observed in such cases like the stomach it wanted to send out the unwanted or poisonous food or food which is uh, excess in amount. In such cases we observe the vomiting. So this vomiting happens that is reverse to the peristaltic movements in the esophagus and in the stomach. Generally the peristaltic movements help the food to pass through the esophagus to the stomach but in case of vomiting that is reversed and which sends the food out of the body. So this is uh, happened in two different cases like overeating, overeating, eating stomach full and second thing is eating inappropriate food or because of that indigestion or poisonous food, poisonous food. So the poisonous food also initiate the vomiting process and sends the food out and we can observe the vomiting in having the food which is high in fat content the food which is rich in fat content excess amount of fat in the food also leads to vomiting sensation and finally it may result in vomiting so these are the different reasons overeating indigestion taking poisonous food taking the food which contain high amount of fat results in a condition called as vomiting the second kind of disturbance we see that sometimes people feel bilious or liverish so these kind of feelings happen when people take a rich meals for a long period of time having the food which contain high amount of fat so the excess amount of fat and nutrients that are taken in the food for a longer time they get accumulated in the liver because our liver is the storehouse of food materials so when fat rich foods are taken for a long period of time the fat get accumulated in the liver and it leads that uh, condition feeling like liverish or bilious condition in which it causes nausea and it causes sometimes headache. Nausea and headache are the symptoms that is because of the excess intake of fatty food for a longer time that is having a rich meals for a long period of time. So now let us look at about the indigestion how it happens indigestion so what is indigestion indigestion means at some because of some reason if the digestive system fails to digest the food such condition is called as indigestion so healthy people they can avoid the indigestion by following certain things what are those things let us look at the first point by following which we can avoid the indigestion a that is eating simple and well balanced diet we should see that the food which we eat contains proper amount of fat the food should not have excess amount of fat the food should not have excess amount of calories and we should see that the food contains certain amount of fiber proper amount of fiber and it should be a balanced and well cooked food so by eating such a simple and well balanced diet we can avoid the indigestion healthy people can avoid the indigestion by eating the food leisurely without any hurry the food should be eaten leisurely so if we have any hurry or tension in mind the digestive organs may not be able to produce digestive enzymes so by that it hampers the process of digestion and which may result in indigestion now let us look at the point c that is proper mastication 
proper mastication. It is important to eat the food leisurely and at the same time the food has to be chewed well. With the help of our teeth, the food should be mixed well with saliva. So we know, we learned that our teeth, tongue and saliva helps the food to make it soft and well mixed. So that is happens with proper mastication. So before swallowing, the food should be properly chewed to avoid indigestion. And the last point here is avoid violent or vigorous exercise after eating. So avoid violent exercises soon after eating. Soon after having a meal, do not go for any violent and vigorous exercises which may lead to indigestion. This we can observe from different mammals, different animals. If we see that various animals after having a, a meal, after having their food, they get relaxed, they take a nap and get relaxed. So by that they can have proper and healthy digestion. Here we can see one more serious form of indigestion that is caused because of ulcers. So ulcers are also reason for serious indigestion, continuous or chronic indigestion. How are these ulcers are caused? So ulcers are nothing but the wounds that are formed in the digestive tract that is in the stomach, peptic ulcers or in the intestines. So these ulcers are found in the people, those who are having a hurried or worried lifestyle. If we observe the lifestyle of certain people who are engaged in specific uh, professions, so they do not have proper time to have their lunch and uh, their meals. So they eat their food in a hurried or a worried situation. If you observe the politicians, if you observe the business executives, doctors, teachers, lawyers and policemen in their profession, they may not find proper time to have a healthy food habits. It leads to a condition called as ulcers. It is also found that there is some kind of bacteria which is responsible for uh, peptic ulcers. So these are all the different uh, reasons. What might be the reasons? Yet these ulcers are also reason for the indigestion. Okay, let us look at one more problem associated with this elementary canal is constipation. So constipation is having irregular bowel movements. So that is not excreting the waste material or undigested food regularly out of the body. That is called as constipation. And this constipation condition is caused due to lack of fiber and water in our diet. So if the people are not taking a balanced diet, which is not having proper amount of water and proper amount of fiber content, it will hamper the bowel movements. So no movements in the intestines and the food is not, the undigested food is not excreted out of the large intestine. So such condition is called as constipation. If the food remains in the large intestine for longer periods without excretion, it may increase the bacterial activity and the bacteria may produce certain toxins and these toxins may be absorbed back into the blood circulatory system and which may result in many diseases. So the constipation can be avoided by taking the food which is rich in fiber and good amount of water. These two are the important things to avoid constipation.